So I remember a couple days ago when we went and shot a bulletproof vest. That's how oh, it hit blew the out. There. It stopped. It still also. stopped it though. Wow. So that shooting range where we shot it, that shooting range was provided to us by a local gun manufacturer called Desert Tech. Desert Tech is based here out of Utah and they make custom tactical sniper and assault rifles. When we were there, we actually got to tour their entire facility and they manufacture all of the guns and parts there in house. and they let us even shoot the vest with one of their rifles. Okay, so this was nine millimeter to the front. Now we've swapped it around and we're going to try and hit it with what caliber is this rifle? This is a 308. 308. So this is the Desert Tech MDR, the microdynamic rifle, semi-automatic. Right now it's set up as a 308. it will also do a 5.56. This vest was not designed to protect your life against this rifle. <laughs> if you would like to protect your life against this rifle, they have other options and you should check out their website. Yeah, the vest that we got was only for handguns. Wow. <laughs> so that guy definitely would have died. Just clean holes right through. So just to reiterate, this this vest wasn't intended to stop that. So but today's video is kind of a continuation of the last one, except this time Desert Tech has provided us with this sexy beast. No, not the guy, the gun. <laughs> what can you tell me about this gun? So this is the uh, Stealth Recon Scout. It is a bullpup, multi-caliber sniper rifle. Uh, today it's a 338 Lapua Magnum, and I guess we're gonna cut it in half. Awesome, let's do it. Moment of truth. <laughs> well, that was like perfect. That was absolutely perfect. Wow. Chambers got some sand in it, but <laughs> that looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. There's a little bit of the firing pin. Oh, yeah, that side shows bigger half. Bolt still, still works. Still, yeah. <laughs> That's what's left of the spring and the bolt. Trigger still works. Still rotates, we just lost the actual trigger. Look at that, that's amazing. Right through the screw. Pull it both back and you would catch this. And I will push it up in. There we go, now it's locked in. It sits in there perfectly. I know it's going up. Oops, pull back. <laughs> That works surprisingly well for being cut in half. You can still kind of see what's left of the riflings in the barrel. There. Looks like they mostly got sandblasted off though. This is all cool, but Mitchell, I don't know if this is real. Can you tell me? I'm the expert on this, don't worry. Oh yeah, it's real. Okay, good. I'd say, based on the lick, it's probably a 308. Nope. <laughs> no? 338. 338. <laughs> yep, you're right. <laughs> 330. Second, second lick. <laughs> That is cutting a 338 sniper rifle in half. Uh, thanks to Desert Tech for letting us do this. 
Um, you guys have a website or anything that they yeah, can check desert, out? Yeah, deserttech.com. Oh, that's easy. It's pretty easy. <laughs> hey, go check them out. They have a lot of really cool guns. Um, yeah, 